I'm d David to, to, to What? I uh, I heard you're looking for a house. What I, house? I I, I sell real real I I'm I'm a real estate agent selling a house. I, oh I'm man. in the bathroom and oh my god space to train these massive cops tyson's got nothing on these and there is david tua in a recent commercial by a real estate and by a um supplement boosting company i believe it's in new zealand okay um and first of all, I got to add this uh, good acting from David Tua. David Tua has been training vigorously. I appreciate everyone that's been sending me stuff by David Tua. And this particular uh, commercial shows me a lot about David Tua. You know, we know he wants to make a comeback. You know, it's ironic that another fighter that he fought that broke a record back in the 90s, Ika Barabucci also is trying to make a comeback. And uh, <clears throat> you guys should check out his interview that he recently have. I'll leave the link below in the description so you guys can check it out. And both of these guys have been training hard and they're, they're in their 50s. I know they're, what, 51 by now if they were both born in 73. What is it? Trinidad, De La Hoya, David Tua, and Ika Barabucci. And all of these guys are like 50, 51 years old. OK. And um, uh, I think that David Tua uh, is always he will always be dangerous. I think he does need to lay off the uh, Kellogg and all the island food. You know what I mean? Because, you know, he might be rock solid upstairs and downstairs. But in the middle, he is still uh, all outside. Right. Um but uh, I think it was good acting from David Tua. I'm glad that he is getting some speed and some uh, buzz over there, you know, especially at his age. Uh, but uh, one thing I do need to bring up is why did David Tua out of nowhere bring up Mike Tyson? I bet you Tyson don't have nothing on these. And he gave that little look. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, why would he do that? Well, the only thing that you can think of, if anyone name drops, right, anybody's name, especially in a comparison setting like this, he has to be calling them out. Did he just say, I want to fight Mike Tyson? No, he didn't. But at the same time, he did mention Mike Tyson's name as though he was looking to compete with Mike Tyson. And we all know Mike is set to fight a young problem child in Jake Paul next month. And we just don't know how that's going to go. But he didn't call out Jake Paul. He called out Mike Tyson. And I think that's David Tua's way of trying to get himself back in to the limelight. You know, Mike Tyson, you know, Roy Jones, those guys supposedly uh, created a, leg a legendary league, a legacy league, right? And these are fighters from yesteryear that are coming back to the sport and they're only fighting each other, that circle of people that qualify, you know, and I don't see that being the case if you're fighting Jake Paul, right? But nonetheless, I think David Tua got the memo and I think he's mentioning Mike Tyson because he definitely wants some type of uh, buzz for one, recognition for two, and maybe possible fight for three. You know what I mean? And we all know uh, what the fantasy was from the 90s and the early 2000s because you had two guys like David Tua, Mike Tyson, similar build, David Tua, granted chin, strong, powerful, dangerous, you know, but later got husky. Mike Tyson, a lot older, you know, uh, well, not a lot older, but years older than David Tua, but, you know, definitely had the same kind of style, you know, in aggression and punch with mean intentions. They never fought each other, but a lot of people always wondered what would it be like? Well, maybe, just maybe, David Tua has mentioned Mike Tyson's name because he may want some of that pain. Bars. 
I think that may be the case. I think that David Tua knows, like, listen, let me target Mike Tyson. Now, if I was Mike, would I want to fight with David Tua? Probably not. Because David Tua is a guy that still has a granite chin. He may be a lot slower than Mike. But then again, who knows? They're both in their 50s. You know what I mean? And we, I think that uh, ship sailed a long time ago, but really has it though. You know, David Tua, uh, I never seen him call out someone's name and mention that in that comparison ever before. So it means possibly the obvious, like, hey, I want Mike Tyson, you, and you, you know, Mike don't have it like I got it. So what does that really mean? What is Mike going to do about it? Will Mike respond? Because it's like what Mike, Mike's never mentioned David Tua. So why is David Tua mentioning Mike Tyson? You know what I mean? So I look at this as very, very interesting. And I would love to see if anything develops from this. But there is a reason for rhyme that David Tua dropped Mike Tyson's name on the dime bars. Of course, you guys tell me what you think. Leave your comments below. Please subscribe. And you all been counterpunched. Peace.